is a little bigger than Pikachu's, and like he doesn't like go to the I, I can I can see the head. But the like, head is like a basketball. It's even a little bigger than you'd expect. Okay, you can but, look at it later. But you know what? So this is a bigger stage than we expected here for Grand Finals Battlefield against Mr. E and John Numbers. Yeah, you might have forgotten about Mr. E while we were on our loser's escapade. But Never. he... I mean, did Mr. E even drop a game? Nope. Mr. E has been on that grind. Yeah, man. You know, there's a reason he's going to be a psychology major. He knows how to read people like a book. Uh, I don't know if that's what psychology's about, but you know... You know, Mr. E might be studying... Uh, psychology, but John knows a thing or two about numbers, and he is tacking on that percent. Oh my gosh! Yuna, I... can you read that number? Mr. is up one stock versus two. Yeah, man. Up there. I've been cast the cursing like mad recently, but then they're <laughs> up there with the deep breathing, and it's a true confirm. Alright, here we go. How's Mr. E gonna respond? John claiming victory to that uh, edge. First sun there. Not even a fully charged sun. Actually, this is probably where it's going to be like very helpful here for John, because you know once it's fully charged, yeah, you can always like tell like where it's going to like you know it's online. But if you keep it just like a little not charged, it can always be a little surprise. Yeah. And John, I, like talk I talked with John at length about the sun thing. If you keep it, uh, sun salutation has some pretty cool properties. Yeah. Where, but basically, if you use sun, you like partially charge it and stuff. You actually don't have to tech. Unfortunate. I mean, look, you can only tech so much, and yeah. it's a mystery special. Dolphin Slash off stage, into the stage. Yeah. He uh, was, the ledge trumps. I mean, the the reverse Dolphin Slash has guards. He was one of the pioneers of those back in the early days of old, for sure. Oh yeah. Smash Four. He was like notorious for that. Yeah. Basically, John loves his stun for movement cancels. Yeah. And that's I I won't nerd out about it right now. There's a cool Smash University short that got uploaded. You can go watch it if you want to learn more. Ooh. Uh, numbers. He has a bit of an uphill battle to climb here. But a little bit, but never dis never discount John. Even if he even if he's behind like three stocks or down three stocks, he'll find a way to come back. Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. Great crouch into the little anti air tilt there. He's moving oh. around. What a grab! No fear, just went up and grabbed. Tries to trump there maybe, but either way gets a punish and a great dash attack. Even it up right there. Yeah, and he didn't get hit for like 30 seconds. Like honestly, really good stuff. But let's see here, Mr. E attacks on the damage. Oh, barely missing that forward air. And that forward air could be the difference of a stock here. Yep. And a low percentage, it's a good option. Yeah. And Lucina, such an offstage queen. He stands those. Maybe even more so than Weepa Trainer. <laughs> ah, depending on where you are. If you're below John, it's oh, John. Oh, what a pickup off the ball. Wait, he's cooking. Cooking what, though? He's cooking at Mr. E. Bro. Oh! Mr. E soup's on the menu, boys. Let's see. Okay, what are we doing here? CQC situations are so intense. Yeah, mystery avoiding the sweet spot of that back air. Oh, barely missing oh. the bear. What do we see here? John with the tech. That's the Jeff from Numbers Classic. He never dies there, besides when he dies there. Yeah, it, it works 100% of the time, 90% of the time. Yeah, but honestly... Okay, just back air after back air. Good fishing there. Yeah, Mr. E, I mean... As, as survivable as John was for this whole stretch, I mean, eventually something will crack, and he catches a greedy jump from John out of the corner. Yeah, that's a little more difficult than you think because oh, Lucina is one of the few characters that automatically turns around, like when you do the back air. So, Mr. E had to quickly pivot back and then do a back air again. Yeah, it's also worth noting that. You know, Mr. E has it's, it, it. It can be a pretty big mental stack to play those kinds of situations because you got to keep track of what your opponent's doing. And part of the reason why you know Lucina can be pretty difficult to pilot sometimes is because it can be pretty hard to secure stocks. I mean, you have all these tools, but it's kind of the top. It's like kind of that like well-rounded top tier syndrome where you don't right. necessarily have like a ton of cheese per se. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's a Gouda, other times it's Velveeta. Well, I guess your cheese as Lucina is the fact that you have some of the best edge guarding in the game and some of the best frame data in the game and some of the best shield in the game. And I'm going to stop. Oh, uh, I see. So it's Provolone. Yeah. Or maybe it's Swiss, because you play Lucina. That's right. This mystery would be very upset to compare himself to me. 
But anyway. Oh. And it's a true comparison. You play the same character. Fair, fair. But let's see here. We're going to see some fairs. Now we're going to see some nares here. As yeah. John is just trying to gain any sort of stage advantage he can. I mean, John's got to win. John's got to win two games to reset this. And then another two if he wants to win. It is a uphill battle here. But John's a hiker. He's a hiker, but I mean, Mr. E, he might be just in a car right now passing John. <laughs> That's cheating. Yeah, but who cares, man? That's right. It wins games. Yeah. It wins tournaments, even. Okay, John with a really good roll in. Yeah, John's rolls have been very good this set, I will say. Um, whether they're rolls out of shield or whatever. Yeah, we'll just have to start calling them butter. Yeah, but... I mean... We're talking about John's rolls. Mr. E is certainly on a roll right now, like butter. Hey. Down <laughs> uh, okay, great trade here. John, though... Whoa! <laughs> Mr. E with the head like, shake, man. <laughs> oh my god. No one expects the soccer ball. I've never actually seen that kill off the top. That's the first time. Yeah, Mr. Hero soccer ball, everybody. Yeah. I'll never forget when I was talking to Cinder. I miss him. And he was like, yeah. Shout out to Cinder. We, he was like, Weepit Trainer should be renamed to Weepit Trainer and Header Ball. <laughs> I'll never forget that. Just like Rosalina and Luma. Yeah. What, what would be the uh, the announcer? We fit trainer and soccer ball. Yeah, basically. That was actually pretty hype. That was pretty hype. Think about it. Oh, I'm, the pick I'm up thinking off the about ball. it. Mr. E's really. John never has gotten into Mr. E's head here. Yeah, I mean, Mr. E's got to keep it together. No. Oh, he kept it together there for one last spike, evening up this game. One more yeah. stock until he wins the tournament. I think that Lucina spike could be pretty hard. John pulling out all the stops here. Terry. Oh my gosh. No oh, way. that was a little greedy there from John. I get that he wants to close it out. Okay, nothing bad comes of it. Okay, we'll Just see a bit soccer of ball there. Trying to go for the forward tilt. Doesn't get it. No oh, soccer no. ball. Mr. E coming down to the down, down air. And what do we see here? No oh, way. Air dodges the ball. Let's see what John's got. He's crouching. He's moving around. No but way. Mr. Off e stage. Here, one big hit is all it could take. Rolling? No, neutral air. I mean, neutral will get him. But a good grab. Resetting the offstage situation. The bear! That bear might have killed with that rage. Mr. E parries the ball. Let's see no what he's way. got. Oh, with a ledge trunk. Nothing. But with a soccer ball. I mean, Mr. E did. Okay, that is still not game. 178. Mr. E is refusing to die. Oh, the roll call from John, but he was too slow. Maybe he should have gone for a grab instead. Mr. E has no a ledge way. trap. John tries to get off the ledge. He fires a stun. Mr. What a parry. E carries it. No. Okay, no ledge trap from Mr. E. This is so intense. And that's it. Back is going to kill here. Yes. At 180, that was just ah, that was nail biting. That was a really tense situation. Those last hits are always so tense. Yeah, wow. <laughs> well, I mean, there's more games to be played. Of course. Bracket reset. Bracket reset. He's taking a side bet here. Bracket reset. I have such a hard time betting against numbers coming from losers. <laughs> That's what I mean. You can never discount the guy. All right, so it looks like they are going to be banning. They, they are banning Town and City. No one wants to go to Town and City. Ban FD. No one goes to FD. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Battlefield or Small Battlefield. I would. We're going to town. We're going to town? I don't think that is accurate. I think the tablets uh, are out of date for a previous set. No, that's okay. For those of you who don't know, it's you know that we have like two tablets. We use the same a number setup. card system. Well, yeah, we do that too. <laughs> but you can like there's like tablets on the at the stream setup where you can tap to ban your stages. But I think these players are just banning verbally. Yeah, which is totally fine. Yeah, which is obviously you know normal. Okay, you know what? John Numbers just had a hold of just to look him in the eyes and be like, I'm gonna kill you. Oh my god. Oh, oh you see what I mean? He smells blood. Oh, that shield, you know what doesn't need it? Doesn't need it. Who needs a shield if you don't get hit? That's right, this is a Mortal Kombat. We don't hold shields. Oh. Mr. E knocked down and out. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. He's Not so dead. tricky. Yeah. SSX tricky even. Harry dash attack barely not killing, but the ball will. No way, no way, no way! Ah! Uh, Did he fast fall? Yeah, he missed the ledge. Oh no. This is Mr. E. 
having to take full advantage of this mistake from John. I mean, missed, I mean Mr. E looked like he took some mental damage there. Yeah. But so did John. Well, yeah, but I mean, I, for John, it's, I think for John, it's like, like you laugh it off and go next. I think Mr. E, he knows he still has to be really careful. And I think John knows he can just keep doing what he's doing. I'm really surprised that Mr. E let kind of titty say open against Wii Fit. It's it, such a big stage, it gives John so much more space to work with to get set up. It is a good stage up for Lucina as well, because while right here, obviously it's the FD situation all over again, but once the platforms come into play, you just have so much room to play yeah, around Yeah, and I guess those bears were killed even earlier, right? Yes, exactly. As long as you're not going for the up bears or the up smash. Um, and John answering right back with just a backhand. Mr. E looks a little sad. Looks a little dejected. You know what? Mr. E just shake it off. Oh, you see Taylor what I mean? Swift. Taylor Swift, shake it off. I don't know why I said that. Hey, listen, listen. I'm a Swifty. I get it. I'm not. Uh, You're not? Uh, My guy. But I respect you. Thank you. Oh! He wanted it no, all No, that Dolphin there. Slash is too good. Oh, but the Hula Hoops got involved. Jab, one, two, three. Safe damage from John and safe positioning. Okay, nice arc ball there to cover any sort of jump. I love the cross up there because you get a little lower to the ground, but a great back air there from Mr. E. This and is it's just so close. Last stock of the first set of grands. If John wins, you go to reset. But what does Mr. E have in store? He wants to just end the night a little earlier, but this huge sun from John detects he's with the ball, but gets carried down throw to the up air. Mr. E getting a juggle going. Oh, good patience. But John's off stage against Mr. E. Swing it for the hills. You see what I mean by these platforms? Yeah, and the Nair actually beat out the Sun there, which is... Oh, no, re-grab situation. Place. It's okay. Okay. It's really hard to contest these there, which is, you know... Okay, good ground. Uh, but we got a mash. Ooh. That counter! Who counters? Who wakes up DPs? Counter's really smart there, I will say. Uh-oh. But Mr. E has given up stage control. He just rolls twice, though. Oh, my gosh. All right, here we go. No! All right, John still has his jump. Okay. No, 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 oh, no, no. Okay, okay. Gosh, you get a little scared, a little scared. That reverse forward air could have been the song. Could have been. The mystery knows what's up. That forward air? Town and city. From ledge? Town uh -oh. and city and Smashville ledges are so thin that you can you can just slam hitboxes through. Them. Insane. Okay, but that dancing blade, it's not Marth, not gonna kill it that percentage from that far. It's so close though. What does John do? Forward tilt? No, up air. A good get off me move. Yeah, cover, it covered so much there. Mr. E just covering all these options. <gasps> what a co Oh, no, no really? Waited. No punish? Waited Balls just too steel. long. I think he realized that he was too late on the reaction, so you just wait there to be scary, hold the position. Yeah. The near one and the forward air, and that's it. That's it. Mr. E takes Zeno. 296. Zero. 296. <laughs> and you're like, why 296 and not 304? Listen, they had to bring it back from Canada. Yep. Just get that soot off, and it's as good as new. But anyway, congratulations to Mr. E. Winning both 300 and 296. John made Who him, knew? John made him work really hard for it, man. I know. John. Yeah, so what happened there? Like, if we can go back to that uh, replay. Because it's just kind of a blink and you miss it moment. We were all focused on Mr. E dying there. Well, of course you focus on Mr. E dying. Uh, the, the first the, one, the one, yeah. Where Mr. Where John e died the... and then John accidentally SD'd. Right, yeah. here we go. Yeah, exactly. So, right? So there we go. John goes for the ball. Oh, oh no, he air dodged. He air dodged too low. That's okay. what happened. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's rough, man. Yeah. A costly mistake for John Numbers in Grand Finals. Cause you, cause like the thing is, you could like you could like air dodging there does save you like a tiny bit of time if you grab the ledge properly. But. Yeah. But you know what? Even the best players in the game make a mistake now and then. Yeah. At the hundreds of games, it, it can happen to you. And it was still a